Taurus, what's going on? It took me like three times to try to start your reading and it kept, the camera kept turning off. What the hell? What the hell? What's trying to stop y'all from getting this reading? Y'all gonna get this reading tonight though. How y'all doing, Taurians? Welcome. This is your general love reading for December 12th, 12, 12, 12, 2023. How you guys doing? I hope all is well with you, your loved ones and your pets. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. Let's see what's popping. What is going on in your love life? What does Taurus need to know? What is the energy around my Taurians and love? Thank you for your patience and getting you this reading. And you guys always know if you feel like I'm taking too long and you need a reading ASAP, you can purchase a reading by emailing Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. You can book a personal reading with me. Okay. That is the only way to get a reading with me. Be careful of somebody on TikTok pretending to be me, messaging people, trying to get money out of y'all, trying to scam you. My only social media accounts are in my description box, okay? And if it's not one of those accounts, it ain't me. I don't have no backup accounts. That's all cap. So just be careful because that person's been hitting up a lot of people. So look out for them, okay? Well, that was confirmation because my sage just hit the floor. Hold on. Oh, no. A joy in behold him, O oh, the king of angels. What you looking at? Had to fix my black obsidian. So you got, <clears throat> what's going on in your love life? You got death here. Awareness, importance, and value. I like that. I haven't seen that card yet since I got this deck, but I like that energy. Is you knowing your worth. A lot of you are somebody who is, um, you know your value. You know how important you are and what you bring to a connection. You got rejection, abandoned, dismissed, irrational fear. Mm, somebody feels like you abandoned them. They feel rejected by you. You got foundation. Somebody's name is Lynn. You got established family and security. <clears throat> then you got distance, separation, space, and blockage. Chasing, pursuit, toxicity, and resilience. Past life, deja vu, repeated patterns, and karmic lessons with broken. Ooh, shattered, heartbroken, and destroyed on the bottom. Wow, somebody's going through it. <laughs> so there's definitely... um. You look good. <laughs> you got the foundation card. Some of you, maybe you bought a new house, new property, or you're just, it's a very, you're just making things more stable for yourself and your life. So I'm proud of you for that. That's definitely worth applauding because it does take time and it is not an easy thing to do. Um, so I'm proud of you for that, especially if you came from the gutter, you know what I mean? Um, some of you are becoming more spiritually aware with this card here. Maybe you're starting to tap into your intuition more. You're starting to check the, the um, angel numbers you're seeing, messages you get through music, messages you see out, okay? But there is somebody here who that you're at a distance with that feels rejected by you, like you dismiss them, like there's a blockage between the two of you. I don't know if this person is thinking about chasing you because it says chasing, Pursuit, toxicity, and resilience with past life, deja vu, repeated patterns, karmic lessons, and this person is pretty broken. You got twin flames behind that. Mirroring, squared, squared, mirroring, mirroring, why can't I say that word? Shared feelings and reflection with broken. So yeah, destroyed here. So <clears throat> there's somebody here you're at a distance with, there's, you're in separation with, and they're broken. They feel like you just dismissed them. You abandoned them. They feel a very strong past life familiar energy with you. Okay, let's see what else we got. Taurians. For my Taurians. What else is happening for Taurus in love? 
Make sure you guys hit that like button. All right. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the reading. Subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you. That would help me a lot. Romantic feelings, falling in love, affection, happiness, and emotions. Text message, communication, news, phone call, direct message. So some type of communication is coming in. Intuition. I told you your intuition is getting stronger. I just said that. Gut feeling, psychic, premonition, and sixth sense. Some of you read yourself. Maybe you have tarot cards. Maybe you've been led to buy a tarot deck. If you've been feeling that, then you should. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of things in readings, a lot of messages, a lot of confirmations. Regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, and apology. Somebody has regrets when it comes to you. Somebody's name is Felicia, Terry. Wedding, marriage forever, the one in union with date on the bottom. Courting, dating, anniversary, and meetup. Somebody wants to date you. Somebody is seeing you as somebody that they can marry, settle down with. They're forever. Somebody's name could be Marley. What's the wedding card? Yeah, signs and synchronicities with social media. This could be somebody you met online for some of you. It says spying, online dating, reminiscing, and networking. This person could be spying on you online. They get a lot of signs. They see a lot of things about you, like things that remind them of you. They feel like you and them could be together. Maybe a few of you could be married or in a relationship with this person. Uh, I'm seeing 222. Two, two. Somebody's name could be Brandon, Bradley, Charles. What's the regret card? Crossroads and surrender. You know, some of you, some of you Taurians, there's somebody you really feel like you just regret what you, you just like, you're kind of holding on to, you just wish you never dealt with this person. You regret dealing with them. You regret trusting them. You regret letting them in. Like you were, you feel like you made a bad, you know, a bad choice and you feel a lot of guilt. The universe wants you to just move on from that though. Like it was all a part of your learning journey. You can't change what's happened, right? You can just keep moving forward. So the universe just wants you to just keep moving forward and, you know, try not to dwell on that, okay? Who is this person with these romantic feelings for you? Social media again with mystery, ooh. Spying, online dating, reminiscing, and networking. Somebody is watching your social media and falling in love if you have social media. They like that you're mysterious. There's something about some of you, Tori, and some of you are very private. You don't post all your business or maybe you post stuff about spirituality. They like it. They like you for you. That's what I just heard. What's the text message card? Party. Ooh, with breakup. Some of y'all going to get invited to some type of social event, but an ex might be there. So get ready, especially for the holidays. Maybe you get invited to some holiday party or some shit, but just be careful because I feel like somebody you broke up with or you had an ending with, might pop up there. Be like, Billy, what the hell your ass doing here? I know you was going to be here. You fucking cat. <laughs> members, Patreoners, I love you. I'm doing a new members read tonight. I don't even know what I'm going to do tonight. What type of members read I'm going to do. I guess I'll just see what comes out. Whatever, whatever angels want me to talk about, we'll talk about. Maybe I'll do a collective reading for my members. I've never done that. Yeah, I think I'll do a collective read for my members. That sounds exciting, right? If you're not a member yet, click that join button. What you waiting on, baby? We would love to have you as part of the family. Y'all like my hat, Taurus? It says, I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. Isn't that cool? Let's see. What's happening in Taurus's love life? The devil in reverse. Oh shit. Somebody is trying to like let you go. Um, it's somebody that was like felt a very strong attachment to you, like very unhealthy attachment. Six of swords in reverse, seven of wands in reverse, knight of swords. There could be a Capricorn trying to let you go. Somebody that was like really obsessed with you. 
Um, then you got somebody else here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini person coming your way. There's definitely a past person here that's having a hard time letting you go and moving on. Then you got communication from some fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck is you, the Hierophant. Ooh, some of y'all manifesting marriage, serious commitment. A few of you, you could be in a relationship. I picked up on that earlier. For some of you, you could already be dealing with somebody. You could be in something serious. Some of you, this is what you're manifesting. Others of you, maybe you're becoming more spiritual with that Hierophant card. Um, I do feel like somebody is seeing you as the ultimate husband, the ultimate wife. Wifey material, husband material with that Hierophant. Somebody may want to cuff you. So we're going to dig in and see. Some of y'all manifest in marriage, baby, and it's coming. Oh, yeah. Don't look at me like that. You manifested it. Who, me? Yeah, you. What's this devil in reverse? Who is this person that's trying their hardest to detach from you? Somebody's name is Cecil, Andre, the sun, Leo energy. Oh my God. Why the seven of swords try to reveal itself? Three of pentacles on the bottom. They might even be in therapy with the three of pentacles. They could be talking to somebody about this. The sun card It's hard for them because how happy you made them. I don't know if this is somebody you rejected with the ace of pentacles in reverse. Can I know more about this person? The moon in reverse and the king of swords in reverse. Damn, you went cold on this person. They're seeing you as just cutting them off. The moon in reverse. Some of y'all, you found out something about them with the moon in reverse and that could be why you cut them off. Cancer Pisces energy. They could have been hiding something from you. Yeah, they feel like you just dropped them. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse is how they're seeing you. Like you just focus on your money, yourself. Some of you, they see you are self-centered. But no, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, you're healing from this. They're seeing you as having all these options. That's what, you know, they're trying to use to move forward, but it's keeping them stuck. Why the seven of wands in reverse? The nine of swords. Eight. Okay, the six of pentacles in reverse. And the page of pentacles here in reverse. There's somebody here that feels like you just gave up on you too. Like you didn't fight for them. They're very stressed out about this. They feel like they gave as much as they can give of themselves to you. Some of y'all born on the 13th. Somebody's name could be Tamara. They feel like you're not giving at all towards this. Who is this knight of swords coming towards you? The devil. Oh, shit. Capricorn energy. Ten of wands in reverse. Page of wands in reverse. Be careful of somebody toxic coming your way. It may be somebody. Okay. This is how you can tell. Because this person going to be moving fast. The knight of swords, he moves fast. The knight of swords means business. They may want sex. It might be a lot of sexual temptation, a lot of sexual energy with this person, with the devil here. Can I know more about this person? That we are in the Mercury retrograde, the Eight of Swords. You've been on their mind nonstop. That's why they coming towards you. Mm. Who is this Page of Wands? Yeah, somebody is manifesting you. And I see their manifestation not working, so I see them reaching out. I don't know about this person, though. Ace of Wands in reverse. Could be a new person. I don't think they want anything stable, though. 
with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So be careful of somebody who's coming your way, like I said earlier, that just wants sex. Because with the Hierophant, you want commitment. You want something serious. Yeah, it could be somebody just trying to like come in and fuck you up on your healing journey. For some of you, it could be somebody at work. Could just be a thought. Knight of Wands in reverse. But with the Five of Swords, don't let your guard down. King of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. Be careful of somebody at your job trying to have sex with you. Somebody's name could be Lee. There's definitely a cancer here that can't move on from you. Two of Cups, they still feel this connection strongly. They feel like it's a lot of people competing for your energy. And they feel like you're not giving them any type of attention. They just feel like they're kind of stuck in love. Because they have these feelings for you. You're doing well. This is all you. The Nine of Pentacles here. The Seven of Wands. Yep, I see you having your guard up. I don't blame you with the judgment. You're very smart and you've been through a lot here. Something about you, you're, you're making better, like wiser choices now in love with the judgment because of what you've been through. With that Nine of Wands, it's made you defend yourself more, have, you know, set more strict like boundaries. What's the Hierophant here? Temperance. A lot of you... You're, you're being patient and waiting because you want marriage. You want serious commitment. Page of Cups. Yep. Two of Wands here. Somebody sees you as... There, there's somebody here. It could be another Taurus, a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's somebody that sees you as wife or husband material. But with the temperance, they trying to give it time. You could come off kind of emotionally detached to this person, but it's okay. Who the fuck is that? The two of wands is on the bottom. So I feel like this is somebody here who has plans for you. They definitely can see a future with you and then they might be a little bit younger than you. But they can see themselves like King of Swords in reverse. Who's that? This is a different energy. Who is this King of Swords in reverse? You got an ex that be speaking bad on your name and spreading rumors about you. Yeah, they be telling people that you, some of you, they tell people that you an escort if you're a female. Maybe if you're a male, you be using women or feminine energies for money. There's an ex here that's gossiping about you and telling lies on you. Especially if you're in a new relationship with the two of cups, they could be like lying on you. They telling people all types of shit about you. But this person is just mad. Y'all don't talk no more and good and th like things are going well for you with the wheel of fortune. <clears throat> they telling people you broke, you don't really got money or you get money from dudes or you get money from girls, something like that. They telling people that you still in love with them. What the hell, Taurus? That person could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be another Taurus, a Virgo, or even a Capricorn. What's happening in the future in love for Taurus? What can Taurus expect in the future in love? Thank you guys for tuning in. I love all of you so much. Like I said, if you want a personal reading, Twin Flames try to pop out again. A lot of y'all dealing with a Twin Flame connection. Um, email Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com to book a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me and Instagram and TikTok is Miss Hawaii to row. I'll be going live on TikTok this weekend. Thank you guys again for all your love and your support. If you want to donate to the channel, that information is in the description box as well. I just saw 1919. So that can be definitely an angel message for you. Um, in the extended, we're going to look and see what's happening in your love life in the future. We'll pull some Oracle cards. We'll pull some tarot. And then we'll also get you some advice. All right. So thanks, Taurians, for tuning in. I love you all so much. Enjoy your week. Stay strong. Be well. Thank you again for your patience and getting you this reading. I'll be praying for you. And if you want to connect with me, check out the description box below. I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye, Taurus. Love you.